very good uh, presentation, and I think we're going over our, our, uh, our time. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I will allow two more. Sure. Yeah. And you, you always have to this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 around retooling. Um, if we had industry in our area, all of a sudden, we'd have to import a labor force because yeah. we, have, we don't have the, the skill set to, to fill a lot of those, those jobs we have. So I really think that that is an area that, that could be looked at in terms of a partnership over the longer term of, of I mean, I, I would, as you're in your presentation talking about health and safety, I'm thinking in our area, we're, we're under, literacy is a huge piece and skill building is a huge piece, and I think that's, that's one area that could be a well, if there's something specific, I would, I would be delighted if you just, whether, you know, what's the protocol? If something pops out of the board here, do, do you approach us as a regional board or would you approach us as, 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 as a community, for instance? Either which way, it's fine. And I'm, it doesn't matter, I don't need the answer, just let, let us know. Uh, because there, those are things, with our, with our training institute, joint venture with Heisler and, and Kinema, it's exactly what, uh, exactly what we're getting into KVI. Uh, the job readiness program, with, with it's actually expanded more away from the, from the Heisler folks, is is actually fantastic. Now, logistically, you know what that can be overcome. Logistics and getting people and, and coming forward. There's, there's there's things we can do or build on that we're already doing. Some of some of the questions might relate to maybe you just don't know what's actually going on, and that we need to communicate more, maybe. and maybe more directly. And, and, I'll, and I'll pick that up. We'll, Colleen will be taking copious notes, believe me. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll follow. Was there any questions? I just wanted to say, I think for some of us that have been here a long time, um, you know, we have, there is a, there's a history in my own family with Alcan. My, um, when Alcan first started out, my dad was the guy that carried supplies to the surveyors over in Kitimat and walked from Terrace to Kitimat a couple times. And um, I think we all have a sense of companies that come in and we have the ups and the downs and we're abandoned and we're, we're left, they go with all the goods and we're left with not very much. But I must say with Alcan and now Rio Tinto, there has been a constant, it, it hasn't gone away over all these years. And we have benefit, benefited from um, having this company here. Um, you've also benefited from all our resources. Absolutely. I think what I'd like to see is that, you know, you, you really pitched in on community things now, but it would really be good to have some thought of secondary industries that would also sort of branch out and stay and support us yeah. through the ups and downs. That's what I would like to see a little bit more of that. But, but I, and I must say that it's been one of the few constants that's been with us over 50 years. So. The, the secondary industry one is uh, through, through folks like TIDA and KTEX. <coughs> <coughs> more looking at a, 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 a new industry, maybe not secondary industry and spin up. It is it's always there. It's always looking and there's there's never a perfect solution. Logistically it's a challenge. The Northwest is is not in a great place for often the markets that ultimately a secondary business would serve from a smelter. But maybe now with a container port and Rupert and, and these things passing through terrace and along the highway sixteen, is how do how do we capture some of that? Not by adding cost to it, okay? But if you touch that container as it passes your door, and it adds cost. That's not that's not good. It's not good for anybody. How you add value to that, and how to live, leverage from it, I think is awesome. I don't know how to do that yet, but that to me is, and maybe that maybe that container port brings secondary shipping, secondary manufacturing a little bit closer. There's still many many challenges, I think. depending on what the market is, and it's market driven. But I mean, with, with those folks with TDA Kated, we're, we're, we're there all the time. We've just done a study about what hot metal could do to adding to a business and different things. Um, there's maybe more that we should communicate than maybe we do. Harry's getting foot fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, to Mr. Mr. Chairman. I, actually, sure. I, do, I do have two more, actually. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, now let me, already, already took my question, so I'm going to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, at 
would be fair to Alcan to uh, to tell him about uh, what the Kitimat politicians have done to us over the last 25 years. <laughs> we've done an expenditure on this table that uh, a regional regional expenditure. They have no um, problem reminding us that 42% comes from Kitimat, and that 42% of course comes because of the Alcan uh, assessment of the, of the work. So um, in a way we do as a region benefit from Alcan's uh, operation, and we always have. So I think that's it's only fair to point that out. Thank you for that. And okay. uh, let me say again, Paul, that uh, perhaps with this partnership thing, it, it rings, it starts to ring. Uh, a lot more with, with companies that are coming about. And I uh, think maybe uh, the idea of a foundation established uh, for, for uh, what, what we've all said, uh, whether it be education, health, uh, seniors, or, or uh, some, some form, uh, because I think that's perhaps something that, that, that if anything that comes out of here uh, is, is this partnership uh, discussion, which we hope to carry on with with uh, a number of you know, folks, including Rio Tinto. Now that uh, that's, uh, I think we're we're looking down the road on the future of uh, where we're going because it's it's. Uh, I think all all the, all the uh, membership in within our in our areas is feeling the pinch as, as everyone is uh, around the globe. But I thank you very much for coming this morning. I appreciate the information, and certainly we will be in touch with you. No, don't be shy. Thanks. Uh, while we're doing the transition here with uh, our, our MLAs that are coming next on the table, uh, we do have uh, party gifts for Paul and uh, this is nice. And of course, our audience, uh, we're, we're very proud of, uh, we opened the 911 process. It yes. Took us, it took us eight years, and we appreciate it all. So, projects take time. It does <laughs> take time. So, we do have mugs and some pens that the staff can uh, awesome. do that while we change. Uh,